This is an interesting band because rather than being a band yeah. as such, it's a group of different musicians and singers that come in and out to form Celtic Woman. And this was formed by someone who also put together Riverdance. <laughs> Beautiful fiddle playing. So all these women are Irish. So it's not Celtic general, but when specific. I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be. You know, I've heard this song from Josh Groban, but in my mind, I have heard this version before, and this is the definitive version for me. Now, oh, well, there's a long story about this song, which is really interesting, and we can go into that in a bit, but um, originally the composer of this song, Rolf Leuland, I think you say, is how you say his name, uh, is a Norwegian guy, and he lived in Iceland for a while, but there is an Icelandic composer called Johan Hegelson who claimed that this was his song, and he had written it, and it was called Into the Light, and it was written in Icelandic and that he would have heard it when he lived in uh, Iceland. Now there was a big lawsuit over it and the Performing Rights Society of Iceland analysed both the songs and found that there was a 97%, they were 97% the same, very similar. So um, I think in Iceland at least in some ways they split the they split the the money for the song so that's interesting <laughs> then I am still oh wow what a different voice in the silence until you come and sit a while with me this really shows the difference in voices and how they can be equally beautiful even though the tones are so tonally different. So coming from someone with such a warm and rounded tone to start, na, 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 her voice is so light and bright um, and that is just down to anatomy and both of them are beautiful in their own ways. You raise me up so oh. I can stand on so she's kind of in between the two. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. There's something interesting here as well. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. So Two of three of them, and I suspect this is to do with accent, have quite a forward placed slight nasality to their tones. So does many different Irish accents. Um, now, it depends on where they're from in Ireland because um, the placement is slightly different dependent on how south you are. Um, but Irish and Scottish people tend to be quite good at mixing and um, and belting and having that forward placement because that's where a lot of Scottish and Irish accents sit. Um, whereas people who are English have a bit more of a rounder, um, often low larynx placement within the accent, which means that often comes across in their singing. So if you think of Florence Welsh, her accent and her singing it has this kind of dopiness to it, which is also in her accent. Whereas um, you know, their accent is not that dissimilar to mine, which is, is quite forward placed and a little bit through our nose. Restless heart beats so 
And then the fourth singer had that warmer tone again. So it was really kind of interesting. Tonally, I'd love to hear them all speak as well to see if that carries through and where their accents sit. And uh, it's so amazing how it all carries through. It's the same instrument, right? So um, we kind of forget that a lot of the time. They all sound like they're very classically, or they've had some classical training or some folk training. They all have great breath support, they know uh, about phrasing, having these long phrases, um, very similar vibratos on all of them as well, and their pitching is just mwah, spot on. Um, now, this song was inspired by, at least this version, this new version of the song, was inspired by um, a novel called The Whitest Flower, and it's about um, the struggle to cope with the death of a loved one. So, um, was the original, the second original um, idea that this song came from after the Icelandic song. I'll put a little clip at the end, I think, of that song so we can hear it and you can decide. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise It's so easy on these high notes you raise me up, to really want to give um, push too much air through but because it's head voice because it's like your vocal cords are stretched really thin it's really important to really control your breath and not overshoot and push too much air out to get that volume and rely on resonance you raise me up, so I can run on you raise me up, now she's smiling a lot you're getting the the smile and the feel of the song and you hear that smile if you were like on and stormy seas on and stormy seas it just has a slight different feeling um, and we can hear that even without seeing her I am strong mm. when I really epic and there's lots going on with the orchestration you've got choir but you can see none of them are pushing it they've got their mics they've got their kind of little Britney Spears head mics very very close to their mouth and that means that they don't need to be loud and they probably shouldn't be loud they um have the, you, they want to be light and bright and uh, not give too much otherwise they're just going to make their mic pop or blow out and they also want to um, make it kind of resonant and full. And this is something that I would bear in mind these days. You don't always have to be loud. You don't always have to push. People feel like, oh, it's an epic moment and you have to really go for it. Sometimes the best thing to do is really sit back and let the music do the work for you and let your microphone do your work for you. Um, and you will get that big sound anyway. You've got a choir, so I think they're all good. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I... I love that little harmony there where you get the clash resolve. Let's go back to four on I Am Strong 422. Thank you so much. You've been such a wonderful audience. <laughs> you 
Whatever you think about that Icelandic lawsuit, I think this song is a beautiful song. I'm really glad that this version exists of it, even if it may have come about in a slightly sneaky way. Um, but I'm also interested to hear that song. So I'm going to leave you listening to it, and I will listen to it after this as well. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. It's After the art and dying came no, ye harma thought and something where no say a summary, either art of no.